Yo, 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 it's your boy OG Shizzy motherfucking Browns, and this is another Shizzy Lit Vlogcast. You understands me? Hope everybody had a good mammy's day out there and all that shit. Everybody, you know, went out, had fun. Somebody showed you love and shit. My day was kind of crazy, you feel me? My phone was off and I almost lost my Xbox. That's like a family member and shit, boy. So my little attitude was fucked up half of the day. I got it back together, though. You to feel me? Because it wasn't my day. I wasn't trying to gloom up nobody's day with my attitude and shit. You feel me? Just because his mother day had to show him love. Now be back on regular schedule. We programming and shit. You feel me? So motherfuckers need to get their shit together. You feel me? The topic of the day is motherfuckers that volunteer information about you. Ain't nobody ask. You just on some showing up wanting to tell a motherfucker business and shit. Or you from a motherfucking town that motherfuckers just do that shit so regularly, you don't even think there's nothing wrong with that shit. The whole time you giving up the whole kitten kaboo, though. Fuck is wrong with you niggas? Black Mike and Big Nose Mike, Rough Hand Mike, something shit like that. It's not gonna be no last name again. Which one? Which Mike? Mike Jones. Nigga, who? Mike Jones. Nigga, or whatever. Motherfuckers be too loose with the goose, too loose with the info. Don't give out nobody else info unless they give you authorization to give out info. Bitches want to be motherfucking volunteering a nigga thottery business. Bitches want to be volunteering. They don't volunteer their own thottery business when they was part of the thottery. If you want to try to snitch on niggas and all that shit. You know, feel me? How the fuck do you give a fuck who she know? And why is you volunteer information if you don't know if they know you ain't supposed to be throwing it out there. You pulled the motherfucking fish and see what they know so you can see what you can talk about. But you motherfucking want to throw subjects up in the air. Try motherfucking come up with something that you can tell and all that shit. But if a nigga a real nigga, a nigga don't give a fuck. If a nigga ain't scared of his mother, why the fuck you think that nigga scared of any of these bitches out here? You the feel me? That's what these bitches need to realize. A little gossiping, running your mouth ass bitches, you feel me? Ain't got no motherfucking life. Niggas fighting you out and dummying you out. So you want to go try to fuck up and sabotage the next person motherfucking situation. You the feel me? On that volunteer and shit. Ain't nobody even ask you. Not, nobody don't even know you. Nobody don't even fuck with you. So you try to tell people better to get in with motherfuckers. But if you're a real motherfucker and you fuck with a nigga that getting gossiped about, you're not going to feel that shit. You're not going to feel that shit because you see. If you real, you going to see. That's what I don't realize. There's a, a lot of snitching going on out here. Dry snitching and bitching. And not just from no females. You niggas do more to that shit than you than these bitches. And that's a fact down here in Martinsburg, West motherfucking for jizzle. And probably everywhere. The shit is changing, man. Niggas ain't tough like that no more. Or, or the toughest niggas ain't tough when it come to the best. I'm telling you these chicks gangsta out here and they pulling out niggas' cards, man. No matter how sad, heartbroken I am, I'm not gonna do none of that clown ass shit, man. I just go on to the next bitch. You ain't hit a bitch out here in the world. You ain't beat every bitch out here in the world. It's gonna be another bitch for you. That's matter. That's probably why I setting up like that for you because that ain't gonna wind up being the one you want. And you're gonna see a bad bitch so the world try to set it up. So you can get away from this crazy bitch and get to the bitch you're supposed to get to. Instead of hanging around these miserable, dry snitching ass, no life ass bitches and shit. And that shit ain't even happening. It ain't even nothing <clears throat> going on like that. I'm just saying, I seized this shit and I definitely done been through it a few times. And I definitely thought it was some chicks doing that shit when it was whole niggas doing that shit that supposed to be tough. You know, feel me? Show sure enough niggas snitching like bitches to a nigga bitch. So if you tell a nigga bitch something, I think you would tell a police something. Because that's, that's the same type shit, that clown shit. Why would you even worry about what another nigga doing? And definitely why would you go tell a nigga bitch unless you try to fuck his bitch or you just a straight hater? Because I don't be saying what the fuck you get out in that shit. Regardless of who you is, female nigga or whatever. Mind your motherfucking business. Niggas, it'll be, it'll be a lot of more peace in the world and a lot of more motherfuckers living. If you mind your own motherfucking business, it's your boy OG Shizzy Browns and you, I'm out. Yo, niggas can't stand a hater, but I'm kind of a hater too. I'm a hate hater. I hate niggas that hate. <laughs> you know, feel me? I hate niggas that's haters. So fuck with that. I don't know what kind of hate I am. I'm a hate hate. I don't like niggas that hate for nothing and shit. All that motherfucking time you spent hating, right? You could have been getting to the paper. All that brain power and capacity you've wasted 
hating on another nigga, you could have been cooking up your own money schemes and all that shit. Motherfuckers ain't shit. You feel me? I don't understand it, dog. What the fuck is going on with you motherfuckers? You dig? So this your boy OG Sizzle, bro, and I just had to throw that out there because these motherfuckers be making me mad. Haters. Boy, y'all wasting y'all time hating when y'all supposed to be money making and congratulating and shit. Instead of hating a nigga you hating on, probably would have threw you slab on if you would have came with your hand out trying to show some motherfucking love. These motherfuckers want to be on they female shit and shit. It's called female shit because females do it. Once a nigga do it, use a bitch ass nigga. It's that simple, you know what I mean? It's your boy OG Shizzy motherfucking Browns. And if y'all don't know this shit, something going on out here in the world. Your parents ain't teaching what the fuck they pulled the torch. Your pops wasn't around or something. It ain't give you that life knowledge to keep your ass out the bullshit. Mind your business. Stop hating. Stop volunteering information. Stop dick riding. And do you. A nigga life will be way better. It's your boy OG Shizzy motherfucking Browns. I'm out. Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy OG Shizzy motherfucking Browns. And this is another Shizzy lit vlog as you hear me. Everybody subscribe, like, share my page or your motherfucking Facebook OGSD, you dig me? Go check out them podcasts, them fight videos, and my young boy from MBE Entertainment and shit, Visionary, you dig me? Double M Sam, One Peace, and motherfucking Stupid Eastwood, that's my young boys right there. What the fuck I heard about speaking of young boy? Her niggas was trying to murder my man. NBA young boy end up shooting the little uh, chick he was with. They say the little bodyguard wasn't playing, though. He caught a body behind that shit. Say, nigga, you shoot at a nigga I'm, I'm working for. I'm going to catch a body. So that nigga better not get locked up behind that shit because he was on his gangster shit. He kept it real. He was doing his job. That nigga about to get a job with the presidency. Nigga, he ready to get Donald Trump on his side. He need, nigga needs secret service like that. Niggas better not take that Donald Trump job, though. Maybe the next president, boy, they see you about that life, boy. They see you really protect niggas' life and don't play about that shit, boy. You're going to be in high commodity in a minute, boy. They're going to be offering you big money to go, uh, you know, protect them politicians and shit like that, boy. So, yeah, that shit more safer than the rap game. I'm going to tell you that right now. The politician situation more better than the rap game. You better upgrade your money and you motherfucking downgrade your percentage of getting cute. Fucking with niggas like that, you will. Hip-hop is real out here. Shit, it's not a game. These little young boys spitting big clip shit. Banana clip shit. Then I hear... Oh, before I switch subjects and shit. So, I hope the little chick that got shot get well. I hope the bodyguard don't get no time behind that shit. He was just doing his motherfucking job. I'm pretty sure his guns and shit legal and all that. You dig me? And be a young boy, you gonna have to get another nigga like that boy. Get your front and your back, boy. You gonna have to stop putting your location on. I heard that's what happened. Heard you put your locations on. The nigga pulled up on you. No niggas can't wait to pull up on niggas. Niggas ain't got shit going on with their life. They wanna fuck another nigga shit up. So as good as you doing, niggas is plotting harder and harder. So you must know this. You know feel me? I know y'all be getting y'all money and being your own world and shit, but y'all gotta remember. There's more niggas doing bad around than niggas doing good. Niggas from your hood, niggas now ain't from your hood. Florida, they been catching bodies, so niggas better stay their ass up out of Florida if you ain't from around there. You better move right and be ready for the gunfight, because niggas is savages. They done took over the savage spot. They done took it from chi They took it from chi It's baby Haiti down that motherfucker. You hear me? So yeah, boy, and I heard... They were shooting that offset studio situation. Now, I don't know if they were shooting at him. But niggas be leaving their locations on sometimes. Sometimes niggas do it on purpose. Sometimes niggas don't even be realizing that shit. But niggas gotta move smarter than that, man. I heard they were shooting at your little studio session and shit. I don't know if they was really for your or that he was just in a little area where they shoot at. That shit happened. Like, that shit gone, but that shit ain't nothing crazy. You know, feel me? So we shall see as the more news come out. You know, your boy holds you down this shit. And I think somebody, they were shooting that young thug too and shit. It's just going down out here. It's like niggas is targets now. The rap nigga is the new wave now. Niggas is coming for y'all ASAP. That's all over the YouTube situation. Niggas is coming for y'all. Niggas is miserable. Niggas is hating. 
You know, feel me? Instead of going getting their own situation, niggas is just taking shit. You know, that ain't nothing new. Niggas just straight going for you rappers and niggas trying world star, y'all. So, man, you got to move right, man. Move world star free. You ain't trying to get world stars, man. So, you got to know, keep your back against the wall, man. Don't be letting niggas know where you at. Pop up. You know, feel me? Stop trying to be seen all the time. Surprise the motherfucker and shit. Don't give a motherfucker the advantage to know what you're going to do. Every move and shit. It's supposed to be chess out here. Not check it, motherfucker. You hear me? It's your boy OG Shizzy motherfucking Browns. And y'all got to be safe out there and move right. Niggas want your motherfucking paper. Niggas want your spot. You the feel me? And if niggas can't have your spot, niggas don't want you to have it. So that make it even worse. You the feel me? I'm out.